There is a big, brand new bridge over 75. And under it. Beautiful. It's pretty awesome. Happy guys on bikes. Yeah, I've been waiting for a long time uh, for, for this. The bridge install backed up traffic Saturday into Sunday. These guys call it temporary pain for long term gain. I always had to tell my friends in other cities Dallas has a wonderful collection of almost interconnected bike trails. Here's the thing on the west side of 75, there's the North Haven Trail. On the east, Cottonwood Creek and White Rock Trails. But no good way to get from one to another. No, it's just unsafe. You can't get anywhere on the uh, other side of the highway very easily without crossing central at an unsafe crossing or going underneath the highway. Jeff Kittner is president of Friends of the North Haven Trail. Did not want any more North Texans in danger. Worked with TexDOT, the city and county on the $9.3 million project. The 201 foot, 800,000 pound arch will connect Dallas's disconnected bike and pedestrian trails. This bridge will really open up the whole city. Fun fact, TexDOT started the build months ago, pre-assembled the arch in a shopping center parking lot before they hung it over the highway. TexDOT also built a bridge over White Rock Creek as part of the project. It's lovely, I can't wait. The hope that safer trails also mean more people will use them. The easier it is to get around, the more people you're going to have taking advantage of the resources. The bridge still needs to be connected to its approaches on each end. Then TxDOT says all of this should be operational by sometime this fall. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Persing.